Hello guys, so I know you guys haven't had a, really a video from me technically all week. I know you have though, but anyways, I just want to talk about the BBS wheel situation that everyone keeps asking about. Figured the easiest way instead of replying to a million comments is just to talk about it. Uh, I don't think they're going to happen. For SEMA, obviously they're not happening. My car is already at in Las Vegas right now as we speak. There's been major complications with the, sh with the transportation. Uh, with, them, with them wanting to drop it off now, but they're supposed to wait until Saturday and all this crap, but anyways, the wheels, obviously they're not happening for SEMA, but I don't think they're going to happen overall because I just don't find them, I don't think it's worth it. Uh, to all of you that are like the small crowd that wants one of one replica of the car, I don't think it's really going to happen because I don't think it's really even possible, quite honestly. I mean, it is possible with enough time and money, but I'm not here building a perfect replica, I'm more here just building a race car that's obviously Need for Speed inspired by the car and everything like that. If that makes sense to you. So I just wanted to talk to you guys about that. Um, obviously. Uh, so first I'm just going to start by saying. You know that the wheels are very fragile. The wheels are very fragile. That's the word to use for it. Um, basically if I street drive the car. It's going to be really really hard, easy to break the wheels. Um, and for the people saying. Oh why don't you just use them for track wheels. Don't even get me started, man. It's, I, I don't think I have enough money right now to be considering two sets of wheels, one for the track and one for street. I just like something that works on both, that I can run my track tires on both and just live. Um, you know, even for shows, I don't think this car is a dedicated show car or will it ever be. I will go to shows if people want me to or big shows where a lot of people will be just for the publicity and just for people to be happy and see the car. But I'm not doing it as like a specifically set up show car. Uh, I want to drive it. I know it's going to get effed up with chips and things like that and bumps and rocks and whatever. So I don't really want it to be a show car. And I don't want to sit in lots and change putting on center lock adapters for the BBS wheels. Um, yeah, I discussed the company being able to make a replica of it, of the wheel in 5 lug in a different material that won't break. But I still don't know because that's looking like a pretty expensive option. It's somewhere in the two something thousand dollar range. Uh... A lot of you also ask about the V3 of the car, which is like, just just understand how annoying it is to hear that because it's like, hey, I just spent, what, like the past two, three months working every single day nonstop trying to make this car finished for SEMA, and now people are already like, oh, when are you going to take it apart again and redo everything? It's like, no, that's stupid. That's, that's so, so, so stupid. Honestly, if I had to say anything, the internet really makes me hate my own car. If that makes any sense, in the sense of like, I just want to drive my car and have fun with it now. It's complete, finally, it looks like a car. I just want to enjoy it. I just want to take it to things, have people see it. I want to drive it real fast, enjoy it, and everyone makes me want to hate it and makes me want to tear it apart and redo it again, which is like stupid. Uh, as I already mentioned, I do want to focus on the performance and handling aspect of the car now. Uh, everything's going to come from what happens at SEMA, what kind of sponsorships, if we even get offered any, whether it comes to wheels, coilovers, other suspension bits, um, performance stuff. Am I going to supercharge the S54 that I have now? Am I going to turbo it? Am I going to V8 swap it? It all comes from what happens with that type of stuff and what money situation is going on and everything like that. But I really want to focus on making it handle amazingly and making it even more powerful. I mean, it makes about 350 BHP right now, but I want it to make around five to 600. And I want to just prep it for being competed for be for competing next year because I don't want to miss out the entire next season like I did this year building the car. Um, obviously, some of you have complaints, but realistically, I think, I mean, I think it's only like a small like ten percent of people that are like the crazy like I want a one of one replica, this that. I think the rest of the people just like the car whether it looks like the car or whether it's a re exact replica or not. I think they're just kind of like hey. There's nothing else that's even close to this car, so I'm going to enjoy it instead of hate it. Because there really is nothing else close. There's no other wide-body M3 that's the most wanted replica or anything like that. Um, there's some dude in Russia, apparently, that's trying, but I don't know how that's going to go on because he's like already complaining about like a, a $7,000 budget cost, which is stupid because my car is like something in the 25000 thousands right now for how much everything costs. So clearly that's the thing. Um, if you guys want to know my schedule, starting Saturday night, there will be a daily upload for SEMA. Uh, today's Thursday. I, I'm going to go get my hair cut. I just cleaned out the garage fully. 
Um, I finished editing the video for Condor Speed Shop, my other sponsor, because I had to make a video for them. So I finally sat down, since I finally have time, and edited together the Lexan window video, which is like from like a month ago, I think, already. So I finally got that out. Um, so tomorrow we're actually going to be finally packing everything. I'm going to be driving to Maryland, where we're going to be leaving the dog, which you probably can't see, the dog, um in Maryland with my girlfriend's parents because we're going to be gone for a full week and then from Maryland Saturday we're going to be driving two and a half hours in the Centra leaving it there and flying out to Las Vegas and getting there 6 p.m. we're going to get the car immediately because I, I want to start mobbing the Las Vegas strip in my M3 obviously because I don't want it just for the show it's just cool you know you're 2500 miles away from home how else would the car get here um, Sunday morning I'm planning on go going to the Hoover Dam which is like kind of like a American landmark, I guess you could say. Uh, it's an hour away from Vegas, but I think it'd be cool. I really want to like cross country the car, and I want to get like pictures of it in front of like the Grand Canyons, in front of like you know downtown Los Angeles with the Hollywood sign, with Venice Beach, with Manhattan in the background. You know all this type of stuff. So I am definitely gonna go to the Hoover Dam and try to get like a picture of me on the dam and then with the dam in the background with the car, just because I think it's cool. I, I like to travel and mix the car with it, obviously. Um, and then Sunday at 6 p.m. is load in for the show, and then we don't really have much to do. Well, we we will have a lot to do. Tuesday I am driving a goddamn NASCAR. Um, I thought that was just a NASCAR experience, like they take you on a drive, but turns out I'm actually gonna drive it. It's, I don't think it's that powerful, it's probably like three to 400 horsepower, because there's no way they would let you drive a seven, 800 horsepower real NASCAR car. Um, it's probably going to not be that ballsy, maybe it will, I mean, who knows, we'll see. But there's a lot of stuff coming, so hopefully you guys subscribe and everything. If you're watching this for the first time, uh, we're really, really close to that 40k subscriber mark, which I guess is a big milestone, you know, 50k is the milestone, but you know, still, I'm hoping we'll get 40k by SEMA, we only have 300 subscribers left to go and yeah and uh as i mentioned before v1 merch is now or it's been on a discount uh, a couple of you have picked them up good job thank you uh the shirts are pretty cheap they're like 13 14 dollars each i mean they're they're as cheap as i can make it like i mean the profit behind the shirts is like a dollar or two like i'm not really making money i'm just kind of make giving you guys an opportunity to, to get the merch if you thought it was expensive before or something like that uh, it does ship worldwide, uh, Europe, South America, Asia, whatever. Might just take a little bit longer, I don't know, but it does ship from Europe or America. Those are the two options. But that's what I wanted to talk about. Um, if you have any other thing, I mean, comment down below. Um, obviously, a lot of you keep asking about, like, straight guy gears and stuff like that. No, that's not realistic. Don't, you know, seriously, like, before you ask about something, just Google it. Just Google the cost of something. That's all I can say. Because a lot of people, like, I guess they're just used to playing video games and they don't realize how much things cost in real life and how hard they are to put on or something like that before they comment. So just please do do that. I know obviously a lot of subscribers aren't annoying or anything like that. They're totally fine and they just, they either A, know what they're talking about or they understand the difficultness, that's not even a word, the, the hardship behind building the car. And I appreciate you. Thank you so much for the people that are like that. But yeah, uh, and then last thing, we have a Discord, obviously, uh, links in the bio. I sometimes pop in and talk to the people, you know, time to time. I don't really get the point of a Discord, but I guess it's just talking, so I mean. But anyways, hopefully you guys uh, are excited about what's to come. Uh, this video is probably not going to be too edited. I just wanted to talk about little plans and stuff like that instead of typing out comments and paragraphs that most of you aren't going to read. So this makes it a lot easier, and... I'll see you guys on Saturday night. I will probably stream later today, but other than that, Saturday night, that's when I'm probably going to be uploading the first video of us flying into Vegas, getting the car and everything like that, and whatever happens that night. So hopefully you guys are excited. Like I said, I feel like I say that way too much, but see you guys in the next video.